Hello, Emily. Hello, Deshana. It is so great to be able to sit down with you. So as you know, I am president of Service Women's Action Network, and we are partnering with Navy Federal Credit Union in honor of Women's History Month. So today, we have the distinct honor of being able to sit down with Navy Federal Credit Union employees that are women veterans. And you have just informed me that you are one of the very few that have joined the Coast Guard, and that is your veteran service. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, it was a challenge. Um, I know that when I first went through MEPS, I almost didn't make it because of my size, and I had to be able to carry my own weight as well as other people's weight. I had to basically be just as strong as a man, yeah. and that was kind of a challenge for me, but I knew that I could do it and prove everyone else wrong. <laughs> So I am a veteran. I served in the Army National Guard for six years. Mm -hmm. I am married to a guardsman. He's been in almost 20 years, mm -hmm. just shy. And my dad, he served in the regular Army and the Army National Guard for 36 years total. Wow. My mm -hmm. dad definitely inspired me to join. When I joined the military, my dad was actually a recruiter, mm. but he never pressured me into joining. He yeah. said, you know, the option is here. If you want to talk about it, come talk about it. But I was just in a certain life situation where I needed to make some changes and the military seemed like as good a change as any. <laughs> Pretty drastic change. So as soon as I was ready, I said, okay, dad, sit me down and tell me what the guard can do for me. My husband and I actually met during Fleet Week in New York City. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So, it was my first year out of college. I, I worked in politics and government at the time and I was mm -hmm. um, working for the governor of New York State in his New York City office and I mm -hmm. just went out one night after work and he was in town with the Marine Corps, and uh, it's been um, an interesting experience as a military spouse. Um, he was active duty when we first met. He actually ended up deploying to Iraq. We were home from our honeymoon for like a week, and he found out he was leaving. I hadn't mm -hmm. even changed my name yet. So our experience has been a little bit different, and I'm very happy to have found my place at Navy Federal about seven plus years ago. Believe it or not, my parents never served in the military, mm -hmm. but the values that they instilled in their eight children Hmm. Actually, right, we all, except for two, went into some type of military service. Wow. And so my brothers are Marines, my sister's actually retired, senior um, NCO from the Army. Hmm. I joined the Air Force, and I have nieces and nephews that are senior NCOs in both the Air Force and the Army, Navy as well. So it's kind of in our blood. Yeah. And the values and integrity and service to community and others is something that we've always grown up with. And so the Air Force was just a natural choice for me. Yeah. And SWAN, being a board member, knowing that I can continue my service just in a different capacity is something that's really important to me. Born and raised here after high school, I actually joined the military as a culinary specialist. Mm -hmm. Did that for four years, I loved it. I love food. Didn't know if I was gonna make a career out of it, yeah. but it was a blessing. I learned a lot and experienced a lot. Served overseas. Southeast Asia was pretty much where I traveled mostly. To be able to say that I'm a veteran makes me yeah. proud. I'm proud to say that. It's a, it's coming away with knowing how to be a part of a team yeah. and what it's like uh, for chain of command. You know that there's a chain of command in the military and mm -hmm. it's just like that in the civilian world. Um, working at Navy Federal is no different because you're still part of a team and there's a diverse team just like in the military where you meet people from all over walks of life. You meet all those people in the military that you maybe never had met before or thought you would ever meet. And then you get into places like Navy Federal who is a very diverse uh, company to work in yeah. and you meet those same types of people. So being able to use what I knew in the military and experienced, I can transition into that pretty well. Well, I'm here at Navy Federal because of the role that I had in the military. Mm. So when I served, I was a broadcast journalist and military mm. photographer. Yeah. And that gave me the background and the skills to get a job here at Navy Federal. Um, I started in marketing and now I work on the digital media team. So this mm -hmm. is what I do. And this is what I did in the service. Yeah. Um, so it was a good transition for me to come here. And then working for an organization that puts our service members front and center to their mission, yeah. it just made perfect sense. In my role at Navy Federal, I'm in HR. So I have a little bit of influence and I've been um, kind of banging the drum about how we have to be more flexible and um, offer opportunities for our military spouses 
to be able to work remotely and stay mm -hmm. employed with Navy Federal and um, partnering with, with organizations like Hiring Our Heroes. Mm -hmm. um, really, really, really important to me personally because I feel like it's a way that I can give back and that I've been so fortunate as a military spouse with my unique experience mm -hmm. to establish a career. It's very important to me to be able to help others come, come along as well. One of the greatest things that any organization and any company that is worth its salt can do is yeah. give back to the people that sacrifice their lives, their yes. time, their family, everything to protect our freedoms. Agreed. And the fact that we have a fantastic mission that focuses on the Department of Defense, it focuses on the military, mm -hmm. that is our mission. Yes. The people, the service, the families, ensuring that they have everything they need for the future is why we're here. Yeah. And it's just a natural synergy between communities, right? So when you look at the military community in which you and I have served mm -hmm. and have benefited greatly, it's an opportunity to give back to the people that give us so much every day. I was blessed to work with like a lot of awesome individuals. Mm -hmm. They shaped me developing as a young woman in my career itself. Um, there's a lot of growth, a lot of laughs, a lot of tears sometimes, but um, we were real about it and we, we all experienced it and we were all there for each other. So the camaraderie is like in my heart. I mm -hmm. even fantasize about it sometimes. I think that if corporations can recognize the service members of our country, they know what they have put into their time in the military, the, the sacrifices that they made. Uh, being able to hire those people on, I think, is a smart move. I think they know that these people are strong, they are driven mm -hmm. um, just from prior service, and it's, they're going to be a great asset to their company. As a service member, as a former service member, I know the sacrifice that they make. I understand the sacrifice that my mother made. Yeah. I understand the sacrifice that my sister makes. Her husband is in the Navy. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not something that everyone's willing to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud to be part of that small percentage that's willing to do that. I think my biggest point of pride is that I have supported my husband through everything mm -hmm. and given him the space and the peace of mind that he can go and do whatever he needs to do and I've got it taken care of at home. Mm -hmm. You know, hold down the fort at home, um, if he needs to be out of town or <laughs> go on a deployment or whatever he feels like he needs to do to best serve our country in the Marine Corps, right. he can go and do it because I've got everything taken care of at home. And Navy Federal has my back in that, mm -hmm. has been so powerful. Um, and it really has allowed me to serve in, in my role and, and grow and has just made me so loyal and so um, proud to be part of Navy Federal. And mm -hmm. I know that I will, um, I would do anything for this organization. As a veteran, it's always important to reach back and give back mm -hmm. to others. And Navy Federal does that on a daily basis as we continue to provide services, competitive services, opportunities to support our communities, but also provide jobs, real-time jobs for our military members as they transition out into a new career. That is the mission here is to acknowledge military, but not only that, just individuals alone. Accountability is important to them. They always ask me how I'm doing. It's a part of the success of Navy Federal as a whole because really? of that. Yes, personalities, treating each other with kindness. It makes the day easier, the mission smoother. Yeah. You know, we all have to be here from a shuttle driver to the cooks to anybody, mm -hmm. a janitor, it doesn't matter. Like everybody matters. This is my gift from God working here. It's been a true pleasure and there are many opportunities that just naturally come and I'm grateful every day. These are things that empower me. These yeah. are things that also, you know, empowering myself, I do these things. And maybe by other women seeing myself uh, do these things that it kind of, I guess, uh, inspires them yeah, to, to do the going. same. It is a male-dominated arena. Yeah. And it's important that our voices are heard too. Yes. And I think a lot of misconceptions are out there about female service members. Mm -hmm. um, and it's important for us to show up and represent other women and show everyone that their misconceptions are indeed misconceptions, that we are just as capable, if not more in some cases, than our male counterparts. We don't stop being phenomenal women just because we take the uniform off, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Everything that we learn, everything that we go through, the sisterhood, the bonds that we have, 
they are forever ingrained in our DNA. Yes. And Navy Federal and the programs that we have here and the mission that we have continue to uplift and amplify all of those things on an even larger and more global scale. Yeah. So as a female veteran coming to this organization, I found that my voice was not alone. Yes. And I found that there were literally thousands of people that have made the same connection, mm -hmm. that have the same cause, and how beautiful we sound when we're a chorus. I'm empowered by God. The joy that I have to empower others comes from Him being good in me. Yeah. Every day is a day that you can work on something. People may not see it, but over time, um, you'll give that development off and it could be a positive seed to someone who really needs it. It would be a better place yeah. um, if we all really tried every day. Uh, I think that anyone that can look at a woman and say, wow, look where she's at. Yeah. She must have worked really hard to get where she is, and she did. Um, those types of women are the ones that I look up to. Being a military spouse is probably the hardest job in the military mm. without the rank and the title. Yeah. And so there is nothing that spouses and partners can't do. Yes. They get extremely creative, they build their networks, they support one another, they support the military. To know that you can go off and serve in your capacity, wherever that may be, mm. and that someone is holding down the fort and continuing to make sure that the family dynamic stays intact, mm -hmm. someone that continues to support you regardless of what continent you are, is amazing. And one of the things that I love um, about our program, we've actually launched a military ERG, yeah. about 600 employees, but 27% of them are military spouses and partners. So they help for us to better understand the work that we do, the mission that we serve, but how it impacts everyone, mm -hmm. not just the military member, but that entire dynamic that supports that individual. SWAN is a great opportunity for individuals to be able to join and meet their peers wherever they may be, but also to exchange questions, if I have concerns, knowing where to go. If veterans can do anything and military partners and spouses can do anything, we can share information. Yeah. And we definitely will track down a checklist and a process and be able to share that with one another. Yeah.